Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little tip that I ran into while creating a couple of macros. The thing that I find annoying or quite annoying is that I have every time I want to create a macro and that I forget to link things like the motion blur, for example, because I always like to grab a couple of nodes and add all the motion blurs to only one so that on your macro, you don't have to go and individually do it for each of one of them. Now here in these settings, this is what I usually do for anything that has a keyframe and that moves. Depending on the actual complexity of the element, sometimes there's only one motion blur option or sometimes there's more than that. Okay, so usually they are all linked to this text one, for example. So if I turn these on, then all of these are going to be on too. Now, there's no automatic way to do these all at once. But I figure out one way that can speed up your process because I usually would just go and I would have to write text one dot and then copy and paste this on each of these and then go and press plus and then that will connect these to these text one. So then when I save it as a macro, if you go to save macro right here and create macro, then you only have to go and click here in this section, the common section, and you will activate these and then you will have the control to turn the motion blur for all the elements of your macro in one place so let me just share it with you what i figure out in this case we're going to just create a couple of new elements they don't have to have any keyframes because this is just an example and lastly we're going to add a transform here so we're going to link all of these three here to the text three now you will have to do this for one of one other node first of all so we're going to go to this transform node here and we're gonna right click here or actually activate this motion blur because if you just right click it and you don't have the motion blur activated on the other text or text text three in this case then it will just stay closed and you won't be able to add the expressions to all the other stuff okay here we right click and add an expression as you have seen already this can become a pretty tedious process if you have like five different nodes for example that you have to create these for or maybe ten i don't know depends on how complex your project is right a little quick intermission during march i have decided to make a 45 percent off discount coupon for the mega bundle so if you want to check that out make sure to check out the link in the description okay so here we're gonna write a text three because that's the name of the text of the node that we want to connect these settings for and then dot and then we can just copy and paste it so we're gonna do these i press tab a couple of times and then lastly we're gonna do this to the actual motion blur and then we can activate these whoops sometimes it gets buggy like these and you have to press ctrl v again to paste that and then put the quality again here it just does these whenever it wants for some reason so we're gonna fix this like that again we're out of luck today i guess but okay we have that ready and that if we press 2 here we're not seeing anything actually because everything is there's no key frames, right but if we activate this motion blur, we can go here to the, you will see that this is activated. If we move these three or like the shutter angle at 65, you will see that this one moved to 65. So we want this to happen to all of the different nodes, right? So we're going to actually just with this selected, you can right click and go to copy or just control C. Sometimes control C doesn't actually read it for some reason. So if you want to be safe, just right click and, and press copy. Both of them should work. After you have these, all you have to do is go to the other nodes and unfortunately you still have to copy and paste this, but you don't have to write these anymore. So that will save you a couple of seconds, maybe minutes after a while, after you have a bunch of them, right? It's all, it's just like that. Now, one thing to mention that is that if you do this, let's say we have another transform node here and this one has a different animation. So let's say the position is here and then it moves the pivot point and then the size is a little bit bigger. Let's say that just as an example. If you have copied these transform node, the second one, and you directly press Ctrl V on this one, like paste settings, what this does is it copies completely everything that this node had. So if these two had different animations in them, Whatever you paste it in will be transferred. So the animations that you had on the pre on the other one on transform three in this case will be replaced by the transform two ones. So that's why we have to go and actually individually 
paste this in this section. There's no way around it. One, I also, I also thought that we could just right click here completely and then it will paste it completely, but it only does it that up to that point. So it doesn't add it to the five elements here. I've also, and I've also tried to go up here, paste settings and yeah, it's, that's just up to that point. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope I didn't take too much of your time and that I was able to clearly explain why you would want to do these and how you can do these to save some time. And that is it for this video. I hope that you find it helpful. And if it is, make sure to give a like to this video and I will see you in the next video here in Suave. Bye.